Hey guys, so it's Dame here with a tour of the software I run on my computer. Uh, so I get a lot of questions about my setup and this and that, so I figured that would go ahead and give you guys a quick tour of the kind of stuff I use from day to day on my computer. Uh, so the number one thing, and probably sure you guys have uh, noticed by now, is that I run Windows 7, or more specifically Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit. I know I get a lot of questions about why don't you run Mac, why don't you run Linux, or this and that and this and that. Um, and the major reason is I'm just familiar with Windows. Um, I just don't really have any reason to switch over to Mac or switch over to Linux. I mean, I like to play Steam games and all that kind of stuff. And like I said, I just have never really had a reason. I've used Windows for pretty much forever. And it's just something I know. It's just something that works. And Windows 7 is definitely, definitely the best version of Windows ever. So, uh, yeah, that's just what I like to use. Uh, now, moving on, I do have a couple of kind of odd things that I get questions about usually when I do my screencasts. Uh, so up here on the right, you guys can see there's a CPU usage little meter. I like to keep my desktop really clean. I've, I've, I've messed around with, you know, doing different themes and all that kind of stuff. But I just kind of keep coming back to the, the really simple kind of way to do it. As you guys can see here, it just has my CPU. So it kind of tells me about my RAM usage, the temperature of my CPU, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's just kind of nice to be able to look at at a glance. If something, you know, you know, I wonder if it's like slowing down. I wonder if it's my CPU or something. So having to open up Task Manager, everything, I can just really quickly look over at my desktop, and see that no problem. Uh, likewise, if you guys take a look down here on the bottom left, there's a little program called Superbar Monitor. Uh, this is really cool. It kind of just allows you to take a look. It does the exact same thing as the CPU uh, meter does. It's just a little bit simpler. And so I don't even have to read anything. I can just look down at a glance anytime I'm on the computer. Just look down. You know, if I see my CPU is pegged or something, I know something might be wrong. So it's just kind of something I like to do. Um, a lot of this kind of stuff stemmed from when I had like really slow and you know like single core laptops and you know stuff that like did not have any power. So I really needed you know a lot of you know monitoring to see what was you know eating up all my CPU. Which with my new computer is not as big of a deal, but I still like to keep it around as it is pretty convenient. Uh, so as far as the browser goes, I do use two. My main browser is Google Chrome. Um, I just like Google Chrome. Um, I've used it for a long time, uh, probably like two years or so now. Um, and it's just a really solid browser overall. I like it. Um, you know, it's got all of the syncing and you know everything. And it, it's just I just like it because it's constantly getting great new features and everything. Um, and so yeah, I've pretty much had no real reason to change from Chrome. It's great. Um, although I do have a secondary browser, and that is going to be Opera. Um, Opera kind of the same way. Um, it, I, I, I really do like Opera. If you guys have seen my browser test, you can definitely tell, you know, just look at the numbers. It is very, very close to Chrome a lot of the time. Um, but I just kind of like Opera just because it's got a lot of really nice features. I mean, it's on version like 11.5 or something right now. And there's a lot of really cool things that you can do with Opera. So when I need a secondary browser, you know, I need to be logged into a, you know, one website on two browsers or anything like that, uh, Opera is what I use. Uh, moving on from here, that's pretty much the only piece of paid uh, software that I have on my computer, and that is Coral Video Studio Pro X4. Now, this is what I've used to edit my videos for quite a while. In fact, uh, yeah, probably a good year, year and a half or so. But I've used it for quite a while, and it's just a really solid editor. So um, it's not something like you know Sony Vegas or Final Cut or anything like that. But what it does do is that it's you know it's a mid-range editor. It's fairly cheap and it's pretty simple um, so for me, what I do pretty much every single one of my videos is edited here and I don't really have any problems you know doing anything so if you guys are looking for a solid mid-range editor uh, definitely recommend Video Studio um, I think it's about forty or fifty dollars or so although I'm not really actually entirely sure <laughs> probably should have looked that up before I did the video um, so moving on I do have Skype of course you know Skype is uh, pretty much always on there and just kind of closed down I didn't want to show you guys all my contacts and all that kind of stuff but uh, yeah I'm pretty much always on Skype uh, now the next you guys will see here is Audacity now Audacity is my audio recorder of choice so um, you know in fact, I'm using it right now, as you guys can see. Uh, what Audacity is really good at is it allows you to just take a look at your audio um, and be able to record it in high quality with all kinds of effect, filters and effects, and you can you know clean it up and everything. And it works really quite well, and it is free. Uh, it's not the best. It definitely isn't. Uh, the interface is kind of meh. Um, and it used to be it used to be a little bit uh, glitchy and laggy and stuff. It's not so bad anymore. But uh, yeah, Audacity is pretty good. Uh, free open source, all that kind of good jazz. Uh, speaking of free and open source programs, I do have the GIMP. Uh, GIMP is, if you guys are not familiar, is very similar to Photoshop or something. Um, it's not gr quite as good as Photoshop, um, but for you know 95 percent of what I do, it's just fine. Uh, you know, making thumbnails, or, you know, doing any kind of image manipulation, which is a cool word. Um, <laughs> you can do that with GIMP. So yeah, that's what I like to use. It works just fine, and it is of course also free. Uh, now the last program I have is Manicam. So Manicam is what I use when I'm streaming, and I know it's not the greatest. Uh, XSplit is definitely a lot better, but um, it just kind of goes around too. I've used XSplit before; it's not bad, but it's not 
it's an, it's it doesn't really replace mini cam so much for me just because I need some very simple things. So, for example, if you guys come to D3 Live or any of my live streams, you I've pretty much been using mini cam to record. I can use my webcam. Or I can also show my desktop when I'm streaming Minecraft, um, and I can do some effects and stuff, which I don't really ever mess with. But uh, yeah, so that's guys. That's gonna be about it for the kind of things I use. About the only other thing would be Fraps. Uh, Fraps is what I'm recording with right now. I'd show you guys, but I can't really do that. It would break time and space and stuff and all that kind of nasty stuff. But yeah, I do use Fraps for pretty much all of my uh, screencasts. Uh, it's really made for recording games. I do that from some, from time to time. However, it does work for your Windows desktop and you know any editing I need to do, I just do in Video Studio. So it works out pretty well. Anyway, guys, that's going to be about it for my tour of the kind of software and all the kind of stuff I have on my computer. Uh, I'm sure, nothing amazing or, you know, probably, you guys have probably heard of 99% of these programs, but it's just a question I get asked a lot, and I figured you guys might be interested in taking a look. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions or comments about my tour, you want to see, you know, office tour, all that kind of stuff, uh, definitely be sure to let me know in the comment section below, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later.